Oh my God, stay there. Good evening. What we were doing the other day? First day. Sense organs, no? Sense organs we were studying the other day. A lot Okay, sense organs, let us continue. What are we supposed to Structure of the eye we are done for the other day. Trisha, go and get there. So we now continue with okay for structure of the eye. Did we do some questions from the book? I asked you to do some questions from the book. Oh, that part, that part is done. Did I did we do some extra questions there? Did I give you anything? No, take out your notebook. Take out your notebook, all of you. Notebook. Uh, structure of the eye, mechanism of vision. Mechanism of vision, we are already done. Take some few questions uh, in your notebook. Write down. Write down. For the structure of the eye. What is the function of, write down, what is the function of, what is the function of vigorous humor, what is the function of vigorous humor, keep two lines, next question, write one difference between, write one difference between, Write one difference between iris and ciliary body. Within bracket function pe likho, huh? We'll only write based on the function. One difference between iris and ciliary body. Bracket me within uh, only based on the function I want you to write. Number three. Only based on function. Only based on function. Uh, number three, name the part of the eye that facilitates, that facilitates the process of, that facilitates the process of accommodation, facilitates the process of accommodation. Facilitate the process of accommodation. Full stop. Which muscles? Same question. Which muscles are responsible for the process? Which muscles are responsible for the process? Number four. Number four. These are basically diagram based questions that I'm going to give you now, but without the diagram, just try to understand similar typical diagrams you will get in the paper. Write on the first, uh, number four, write on the question. In a certain eye defect in human, in a certain eye defect in human, in a certain eye defect in human, near vision, Near vision is this is another one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one of you go and call it. Uh, call it ha. In a in a certain. I'm not feeling cold. Why should I go? 
दुर्वेश को ठंडी लग रही है दुर्वेश जाएगा प्रीशा को ठंडी लग रही है प्रीशा जाएगी चांदनी को ठंडी लग रही है चांदनी जाएगी ना फटाफट इन कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चन In a certain eye defect in you, man. In a certain wait, wait. You sit down. I'll call you. Wait. Tell the question. Take you. In a certain eye defect. Ah, uh, he's a smart boy. Then he's going this way. Wow. Bina, बोले अच्छा नहीं लगता है ना हमेशा इतना habit हो चुका है. In a certain eye defect in humans, the image is formed. Image is formed. I said, "Acha, tum log ka ye AC ke chakkar mein main bol gaye." Read the question. What I said. In a certain eye defect in humans, near vision is near vision is, near vision is disturbed. In a certain eye defect in human, near vision is disturbed. and distant vision is clear distant vision is clear under that right sub number 1 now question number 4 i gave you this right sub number 1 name the eye defect name the eye defect <coughs> name the eye defect number 2 name one name one structural defect of the eye ball Name one structural defect of the eyeball. Number three. Number three. Number three. Ah, uh, what can what can be the correction for such a defect? What can be a correction for such a defect? what can be a correction for such a defect number 5 question number 5 question number 5 name the eye defect in which name the eye defect in which name the eye defect in which cornea shows uneven convexity cornea shows uneven convexity same question continue the next part uh state a correction mention a correction for the same mention a correction for the same mention a correction for the same the last question number 6 last question name the part of the eye associated with name the part of the eye associated with dark adaptation name the part of the eye associated with dark adaptation name the part of the eye associated with dark adaptation keep continuing name the pigment name the pigment name the pigment that suffers a change in this condition or during this condition full stop mention two properties of the same pigment mention two properties of the same pigment mention two properties of the same pigment without making any noise i want exactly in 5 minutes फटाफट go through karo the moment you make noise i will ask you to do it as homework i will not discuss that and we don't have time फटाफट karo go through this what i said of the same mention two uh, characters i think i said no uh, question number 2 
function. Ah, I listen clearly about it based on the function. Huh? Please don't make noise. We are wasting time in that case unnecessarily. Karu, go through the question, see if you are able to uh, answer. Then we are only left with the last section of this chapter that is the structure of the year. And I want to start with the next chapter also if you are okay with it. If you are able to finish with the structure of the year, then let us introduce to the next chapter also. Karo, but I'll give you five minutes to complete Karlo. Huh? You have not gone through, no? Cool me bua hai ye chapter? Karo, karo, you must not have read the entire chapter. Go through this chapter is very important. Many questions you may expect from this chapter. Yes, How much are you confident with this chapter now? Uh, with this subject, I should say, with the chapter, you know, it's a time to ask you about subjects. Which subject is that sub stay confident? History. 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 Huh? IS officers. Upcoming. What? Uh, how much you're confident with biology so far? Good. Prisha? Anya, no, your name is Anya. Not prepared with bio yet? Padho, padho. Ah. Padho, padho, padho. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Ashwarya? Padho, all subjects. Try to score at least 100 on 100 at least in one or two subjects. That also you should try. Full. Decide. Karo, karo, no, no talking. Karo, fata, fata. See, if you know the answer is fine. Hey, koi question me doubt. Bolo. There are plenty of questions. Some we did from the book. I gave you some extra. Still, there are plenty of questions that you should go through. Structure of the year, only the parts and the functions you are supposed to remember. Mechanism of year is not that very important. But at least you should know at least if it starts for one to two months, it's a very good answer. <coughs> What is the first question? What is the first question? Keep reading one by one, one by one, one by one. Chalo, I should start this. One by one. What is the function of the nucleus unit maintains the same of the organ? Very good. Or if you don't give nourishment to the retina, maintain the shape of the eyeball. Another function is providing nourishment to the retina. Next. Read, no, read, read. Take a question for the definition of part here. One difference between iris and ciliary body, I asked you. One difference between iris and ciliary body based on the function. Can you know it? No, no, I did not ask you about the structure, I asked you only about the function. Iris regulates the size of pupil. And ciliary body regulates the size of or the shape of lens. Iris regulates the size of pupil. For pupil, you have to write size. And for lens, you have to write shape. And ciliary body regulates the shape of the lens. The last class we were discussing quite a lot about this suspensory ligaments and then the ciliary body, the circular muscles. So ciliary body regulates the shape of lens. Third question. In the part of the eye that facilitates the process of accommodation, which muscles are responsible for the process? Accommodation. 
Accommodation. Do you remember what was accommodation? It must be near objects, it must be distant objects. So, which part of the eye was helping us? Or which part of the eye is actually helping us in this process? What did we learn? Yes. Lens. The lens is helping us in this. So, that's the first answer. And what is the next part? Muscles to write. Celiac muscles. Celiac muscles and suspensory ligaments to be absolutely correct. Celiac muscles and suspensory ligaments. Celiac muscles are the main goal. Celiac muscles and suspensory ligaments. Those are also fibrous tissues. Next, Bolo. Bolo. In a certain amount of human ear and then system and system in a sphere. Near vision is, uh, I said near vision is, the distant vision is there, hyperopia, 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 okay. I think some of the questions are complete. Name one structural identity. Name one structural identity. Name one structural defect. Structural defect, you are looking at? The eyeball is shorter from front to back. Front to back is shorter. Why am I constantly focusing on writing front to back? Because it's shorter and vertically short than he has. So horizontally short. Vertically and short, so the image formation is not a problem. So that's why constantly I'm focusing on that. You are supposed to write. I want it shorter from front to back. Complete the room. Complete the room. One can be a connection for the other. Always sense with the power. Convex lens, huh? Convex lens. What is the correction? Convex yes. power also. Power, if you write, if you remember, it's okay. If you don't remember, okay, you'll get full marks. On tape, convex lens, say, hey, enough for you all. Next. Uh, I did that image the cornea show uneven curvature, uneven convexity. What is it? Cornea opacity. No. What is it? Cornea opacity. No, no. What is that word? Astigmatism. Astigmatism, cornea may show different depressions over there. The entire cornea is not smoothly convex, not smoothly curved. What is the next part? Complete for the other? Where is the other term? This is one of the facts, no? If the number. Uh, complete the uh, straight direction for the same. Ha. Cylindrical uh, lens. Cylindrical lens. For astigmatism, you know. Durbej, next question. The part of the arm is associated with the dark dark between. Name the pigment that suffers the change in this. Keep going. The first part of the answer is? Uh, uh, Question first part is what? Name the name the part of the eye associated with the dark adaptation. Part of the eye. Part of the eye, dark and light adaptation by part of the eye. Pupil. Pupil. Part of the eye, pupil. Pupil he constrict over, pupil he dilates over. So pupil. Next continue. The pigment that suffers a change in this condition. Ah, this you know, rhodopsin. Rhodopsin. Suppose a change in the when the light was too less, rhodopsin was not getting formed. Now that small streaks, faint streaks of light are there, a bit rhodopsin one may have a regeneration of rhodopsin has started. So, name the uh, people that have suffered a uh, change. You can write also rhodopsin with the bracket, write down regeneration of rhodopsin. Regeneration of rhodopsin has started. Now I asked you write down two more properties. Here, Lina and Sohan. Sohan. Sohan is Sohan. Maybe Sohan. Maybe Sohan. Maybe Sohan. Maybe Sohan. Maybe Sohan. Two properties that are Two properties of rhodopsin can be put there. Any two properties of rhodopsin is floating by what type of property factor? Rods. So that's the first property you write. Dim light. Dim light. I asked you to write two properties already. You have studied before. Rhodopsin is produced by rods, number one. Rhodopsin is. Now you are writing only about rhodopsin. Rhodopsin is 
produced by rods. That's the first part of light. Second part of light, rhodopsin is sensitive to dim light. Ah, no, third property you can write rhodopsin uh, degeneration starts at bright intensity of light. Intensity of light, bright intensity of light leads to degeneration of rhodopsin. Break down, which are rhodopsin. So, these are the properties. You are not supposed to write about rods. That's the idea in this section. Rods, you have to only write about rhodopsin. So, I already told you three points. Rhodopsin released by rods. Rhodopsin sensitive to dim light. Rhodopsin helps in black and white vision. And rhodopsin degenerates at bright light. So, these four points may say any two points you write. Degenerates at very high intensity, it will break down and regenerate at low intensity of light. If you are done, then we'll go through the structure of the year now. But before that, there's a very small topic persistent image. You are asked, uh, fill in the blanks or something like this sometimes. Just the concept. Uh, huh, that is called persistence. Image. Now, what is the concept of? Are you able to see? He blurred the crack. Yeah. So, when I talk about persistence image, what is the concept? Persistence image, matlab, whenever we see something, it has become the touch, touch wire. Now that we talk about that sensitivity here, when we are talking about our eyes are. Uh, very much uh, accustomed to vision at the same time, our brain can store this information for a short period of time. How do we understand with this concept persistence image? What is the meaning? Uh, we feel that now that we saw one thing, one object, one image, and then it goes and then the next comes, we feel that it is continuous. But the concepts and the theories say that it is not continuous actually, it is one and then two, which are one and then one goes and then two comes, the second image comes. But we feel that one is going and the two is continuous only because the memory of one is there here in the brain for a short period of time. That the two goes and then three comes in, three goes and four comes in, four goes and five comes in. For us, it feels continuous because the information is stored here for one tenth of a second. So for us, it appears that it is continuous, but actually it is not. It is just image by image, picture by picture, actually it is. So this is the concept and the theory which also enables us to see a continuous film, to see a continuous video. It is actually the same as when we see one picture and after that another picture and after that another picture. So what is the proof of it? That information is stored here for some time. You, If you look at this particular object, any object, this is just an example that we are doing, look into one particular object, gaze at it for some few seconds. After that, you may just change your focus. See somewhere else. Now, to make it very distinct, we would always say that look at a particular clear surface. You may just close your eyes. Then also you will feel that you are as it is, as if you are still visualizing that, the same thing you are visualizing. I'll give it two minutes, see if it happens. It happens, no? Always it will happen. It should happen for all of you. Kiska Nior Kanwaka Nior Tomorrow Nior Concentrate Karo, just few seconds, eight to ten seconds, Beko, after that you make and you see somewhere else, change your focus. Don't take too long. 
So that is persistence image. All right. It happens at any part. Now it is in the plus sign. At any part, you focus and see and try with anything at home also. With anything, any picture, anything you try. It's not that only it has to be black and white like this, anything you try. And then you will see that he is as if the memory is there for some time. So that is persistence image, okay? Now, next is we move into the structure of the year. We look into the structure of the year. Take the diagram, structure of the year, very often comes as a diagram-based question, as a part of the diagram-based question. What are we to study? The major parts that we are going to study now. Uh, parts of the human year. What are the parts of the human year? The uh, human year can be divided into three main parts. We are going to study now outer year, middle year, inner year. But now, before I talk about the year, what are the functions? What are the functions of the human year? The two prominent functions that we are supposed to understand. Uh, one is hearing, obviously. We are talking about the phonoreceptors. Function is hearing. And the other function is body balance. And this body balance can be of two types. One is we talk about dynamic balance. And the other is static balance. So two types of body balance and hearing. So these are the functions of human ear. You are asked just for a mark. Uh, state the function of human ear. What are you supposed to write? Both the functions you are supposed to write. Human ear performs two types of functions, hearing and body balance. What is the meaning of dynamic balance? Dynamic balance means when we are moving, when we are in motion, we are walking, uh, we are jumping, we are uh, running. Uh, at that time also, are we, are we able to hold our body? Are we able to control our body? Yes, we are. And uh, which part of the brain helps in, in muscular coordination and body, uh, body balance? Which part of the brain? Which cerebellum? Which part of the brain helps in body balance and uh, muscular coordination? It is cerebellum. And now cerebellum in coordination with the ear. So we are talking about a relation between the ear and the cerebellum now. So as I said, what are the what is the concept of body balance whenever we are running, walking, then also body balance. And now when you are sitting, then also body balance. When we are sleeping, then also body balance. So this is what we understand as dynamic and static body balance. Outer ear, what are the parts? Let us see. What are the outer ear? What are the parts of the outer ear? The three main parts of the outer ear. Try locating in the figure. Uh, first is we talk about the pinna, also known as the auricle. Pinna, also known as the auricle. Then we have the auditory canal. We have the auditory canal or the ear canal. And then we have the tympanum or the ear drum. So these are the three main parts that comprise the outer ear. Functions, you are supposed to know all of them. I talk about the first part, pinna, also known as auricle. What is the function? Keep remembering. What is the function of the pinna? Receive the sound waves. Now, the reflected sound for, from every different source is striking this part. From, just like which part, it, is, it is comparable to which part of the eye? Comparable to the conjunctiva almost, cornea conjunctiva, which receives the light wave, same like this. So I'm talking the reflected sound waves from every particular direction can strike here, strike here, strike here. They would strike here and then start entering inside. Strike and then enter inside. Uh, which is the next part, the small canal that we're talking about is the auditory canal. So I said, what is the function of this part? Receive sound waves. What is the function of the auditory canal? Transmit sound waves. Transmit, it is carrying, you know, helping in the passage. Transmitting sound waves. Helping in the passage of sound waves. What is the third part? This one. The ear drum. The ear drum. Sometime or the other, if at all you were in the process of cleaning your ear or sometime, did you ever sense that there is something, a plate like inside? So that is the ear drum. Do, do we need to keep it? In order to keep our ears clean, do we ever need to prick it or poke it? Never, because that part of the ear is very, very delicate also and very, very important also. 
just like the cornea if it suffers from little bit of a denture or curvature or the process of vision is disturbed so similarly ye jo ear drum hai isme thoda sa bhi agar dense or depression hota hai injury hota hai the process of hearing will be always buzzing 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 always it will be disturbed not this sharp sound what is the function of this that you are supposed to write what is the name of this i say tympanum tympanum or ear drum function is that the sound waves are hitting this part and moving transmitting then hitting this region when it hits this region there is vibrations now this particular region is vibrating moving this movement is very very essential for the inner part of the ear now when will this ear drum vibrate the ear drum will vibrate only when there is adequate intensity of the sound but when i'm whispering and talking to you i'm whispering and talking to ashwarya is she is able to hear no she not be able to understand what i'm saying uh, but when i'm talking in my proper voice she is able to understand why is she able to understand now why not earlier because when the intensity of sound was very low the vibrations were not created so that's the reason are we able to hear every type of a sound in this universe no we are not we are able to hear sound only in a particular range do you know what is that range hertz so do you believe that there are a whole lot of other type of sounds also other animals may are we able to hear those no many many we are not able to hear a uh, sound produced much higher than 20000 hertz yes there are animals there are so many other different heavenly bodies and etc etc so many type of sounds are there but we cannot listen and at the same time there are so many type of sounds other animals make which is much lower than 20 hertz our ear cannot receive because vibration nahi hota so that that is what you are supposed to write as a function what is the function of the ear drum set sound waves into vibration set sound waves into vibrations uh, functions likhte jao set sound waves into vibration so we are done with the first part of the ear what is that the outer ear i'll tell you i'll tell you so sabse important ye hai what i told you this receive sound waves transmit sound waves auditory canal transmit sound waves what is the function of this sets the sound waves into vibration sets sound waves into vibration So already we understood that there has to be a typical vibration. Then only we are able to hear things. We are able to hear the sound. Now we move into the other part, the middle ear. What are the parts of the middle ear? The middle ear will have parts like. Uh, look into parts one by one. First of all, just on the other side of the tympanum, can you see these blue colored bones? Small, 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 small bones are there. Three small bones in a series. three small bones in a series attached one to the other and the last bone is attached to this membrane check in your diagram or in the book that diagram again is very important so which diagram i'll tell you uh, this diagram for your exam एग्जाम this diagram yeah ah this diagram is one pick this and you will get a similar black and white diagram there is a similar black and pick this diagram also in your book i'm going to explain you all this these are typical diagrams they want to get so this type of a typical black and white diagram you get so not to get confused about the parts try to understand first of all i'm showing you this so that you understand all okay come to this we finished with the outer ear on the outer side on the other side of the membrane these bones are attached one to the other how many bones are there three bones in a sequence and what are these bones in 
collection known as ossicles. What are the three ossicles? The three ossicles underline their names in your book. Very, very important. What are the three ossicles? Malleus, incus, scales. Malleus, incus, scales. So we are talking about malleus, we are talking about incus, we are talking about scales. These are the common terms that we use, but there are other terms also like hammer and nail spirit, but these are the most used terms. Three small bones, Stave be the smallest of all. These three bones, one connected to the other. What is the job of these three bones? These three bones, you know, if I talk about one end of malleus, can you see the end of malleus is associated with the ear drum? Is it so? Check in your figure also. Is the end of malleus associated with the or attached with the ear drum? Yes. So now this vibration, now that the sound wave was moving and then the tympanum was set into vibration. Now these <coughs> vibrations are passing through these ossicles one to the other. The vibrations are passing through these ossicles one to the other, meaning the ossicles are also finely moving. The ossicles are also finely vibrating. And these vibrations now will move on to this region. These vibrations now will move on to this particular region. The, if I show you here, these vibrations now, if I talk about this vibration, I said this is the stage. This is the stage. And the membrane of the stage, again, is in continuous. This membrane of the stage is continuous with again a small hollow tube. This small hollow tube. Can you see this? And continuous with this tube. A small hollow. It's a membranous tube, but hollow inside. Now, this membranous tube that you talk about, check their names. This membranous tube. Here, this is known as the round window. Can you see this in your figure there? Round window and below is the oval window. Did you get those terms? The round window and the oval window. The round window and the oval window. Here I show you the round window. And here exactly is the oval window. I'll magnify this so that you see better. So now, here, first of all, mark this. Can you see this part? In your book, is it there? Round window mark for you. It must be there only marked. Round window. And round window ke pass me. Now I show you this one. Ye hai round window. This is the stage. So stage jaha pe khatam ho raha, this part is known as oval window. Matla, stage ka ye oval window tumko is tarah se dikh nahi raha hai in the diagram. You don't get to see. But you may be marked, you may be asked here. They may put an arrow here. What is this part known as? Not marking at the stage. If, you, if the mark is on the stage, then you write it as stage. But if, you, if the mark is here, what is this part? This is oval window. This is the oval window. The oval window and the round window. Where exactly the stairs get over? This is the oval window. And the round window in the mark, the round window is below. The round window is below here. Yeah. This is the small round window. Round window is marked. This is marked. That's why I was going to tell you that there is a small one black and white figure. Yes, there is a The stairs are cut over. The stairs are This, if you part, Labeled at the exam. You're not supposed to write states. This is going to be over. Okay. And this part, just below this, this is the round. That part is the round. So there are two types of openings. These are, over, these are openings to a membranous. Tube-like structure. See, in this diagram, I can show you this, that this is the round window. Did I mark there? Correct? Oval window, round window. Did I mark it? Correct? Check out. Here, exactly near the shape, this is oval. And down there is round. Correct? Right? Mm -hmm. All of you may take a note of that. Sometimes you are asked there. So, here we go. I'm talking again. I go back to the figure again. I go back to the figure again. So what am I showing you? This is the stakes. And the membrane just next to the stakes is the opening, hollow inside. And just again with adjacent is again an opening, opening of a membrane and hollow inside. 
we learn what the function is. So now, next, when we are talking about this, uh, these two structures, now that I talk about the ossicles, what did I say? What is the function? Amplifies the vibration. So, yeah, the vibration is always The eardrum is always uh, helpful in setting the way, uh, the sound waves into vibration. We wrote the function, no? That the uh, tympanum or the eardrum sets sound waves into vibrations, I told you. Now, these vibrations will be passed through the ossicles. The vibrations will also be transmitted into the windows, the two hollow openings, the open window and the round window. So the vibrations are moving this way and the vibrations are moving this way. The vibrations enter this way, the vibrations enter this way and these structures are a little bit shaking. So this ossicles, you are asked in your exam, what is the function of the ossicle? Amplification of vibration. What is the job of this oval window and the round window? Amplification of vibration. Talk about a drum which is hollow inside. When you beat the drum, it makes a lot of noise, a big sound. But if I fill the drum with cloth or some hay or straw and you keep beating, will it make that big sound? No, when it is hollow, it makes a lot of sound. A big, big sound, no. Same is happening here. Function of ossicles, you are asked also, what would be the difference if instead of these three ossicles, there is one single bone? Amplification would be much lesser. Three hair, three bones are there. So amplification, when it moves from the eardrum to this, little bit. From barriers to incurs, little bit more. Incurs to shapes, little bit more. And states to the open window and the round window, little bit more. So all these structures are actually helping in amplification of vibration. But if you take a note, you will also get to see that there is something known as uh, the, there is something known as the estatial tube. Estatial tube. Now, there is uh, sometimes uh, the sound is so big. It's too loud sound. No? Say, say, suppose now crackers or bursting of something. Too loud the sound is. Uh, does our uh, ear immediately get the uh, Damage. No, our ear does not immediately get damaged because just like the eye, which can uh, you know, allow, uh, does not allow excess amount of light to enter. See, like that, when excess amount of sound waves enter also, sound enter also, uh, there can be a pathway for neutralizing the sound waves. And this is what is known as the estrogen tube, which also enters into the throat passages or has a connection and then we talk about the ear drops put here, they enter into those uh, the passage of the throat. So this estrogen tube is a pathway which can also help in equalizing pressure. What does that mean? When the sound is too big, this can also help in neutralizing the sound waves and vibrations so that the parts of our ear does not get damaged immediately. And uh, this estrogen tube also helps in draining out fluids. When you put some ear drops, you can feel the bitterness in your throat. So exactly like that. So this is the function of the estrogen tube. You are asked, what is the job of the estrogen tube? What is the function? Neutralizing or back balancing or equalizing the pressure. So we are done with this part. So what I said, what is the function of the ossicles? What will you write? Function of ossicles, amplification of vibrations. Apart from that, I also mentioned parts like uh, the oval window, I mentioned parts like the oval window, amplification of vibration. I mentioned parts like the round window, amplification of vibrations, all throughout. Now, after the amplification of vibration is over, now the vibration is already developed in an optimum level to actually disturb a fluid which is present in the main region of the ear. This is the main, this violet part that you get to see is the main region of the ear. What, are, what is this part known as? This is actually the inner ear that we are talking about. So this inner ear has got two regions, a coiled tube-like structure and the ring-shaped cartilaginous ring-like structures. So what are, what are these structures called? This is known as the cochlea. This particular structure, two prominent structures here, we talk about the cochlea. And then we talk about the semicircular canals. We talk about the semicircular canals. So, bolo. Second function I said it can uh, neutralize the excess 
sound waves entering the uh, ear the excess the high intensity sound waves entering the ear can neutralize the excess or high intensity sound waves so now when we are talking about the inner ear what are the main parts parts cochlea and the semicircular thalamus now this part we are going to so see little bit in detail so this part let us see little bit in detail the cochlea and the semicircular thalamus this cochlea when we try understanding the cochlea is something like this see here this cochlea when i look into this tube like structure hollow tube like structure it has got fluid inside and uh, it is also hollow to some extent but it is filled with fluid and this entire structure cochlea has got something around two and a half turns if you remember that almost like a snail like structure it is filled with fluid and there are hollow chambers inside first of all we'll talk about this part huh? this cochlea we'll talk about first so is it not that the vibration passed from the stapes this is the stapes the stapes had passed on the vibration to the cochlea is it true did the stapes pass on the vibration to the cochlea by the way of the oval and the round window yes where is the oval and the round window yeah this is the oval window we talked about and agar isko thoda dusre angle mein dekhenge then between the stapes and the cochlea is that part the round window we already saw and the vibrations through this hollow chamber the vibrations are reaching this part what is the need that the vibration should reach this part because yahan yahan pe jo fluid hai that should ultimately be set into movement jab tak this fluid will not be set into movement we will not be able to hear anything sharp so now we understand this part properly to understand that what are some of the internal chambers and the fluids so now try understanding that from the stage the vibration has passed here but uh, how would the cochlea look like in a section the cochlea would look like in a section like this i talk about the section of the cochlea they call this diagram you should be acquainted with all these so i want to try to see that cut the cochlea in a section tube ko cross section jab hum kaatenge what is the meaning of cross section anya and this boy tanmay खेल रहे हो नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम हाँ मार रहा है खेल रहा है जो भी है आई रियली डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम विद दिस ओके मैम व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू द अदर डे एंड द अदर डे एंड द अदर डे हाँ तन मैं तुमको एक ही बात बोल बोल के मैं थक गई हूं अभी should i repeat my same gyan again i am not such type of a person i am not that type of a teacher i don't want to give any gyan to my students you come here for what your parents are spending so much of money for what utna khali yaad hai kya ho gaya dur pe shuru ho raha hai ha girlfriend bola tumne girlfriend ka matlab bhi tumko samajh mein aata hai एक्चुअली फील दैट यू ऑल अभी छोटे बच्चे हो बट एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट हाँ दूर पे सच में रो रहे हो क्या तुम नहीं दुर्वेश बहुत अच्छा लगता है बहुत सीधा साधा लगता है चेहरा देख के मुझे हम थोड़ा बाद में बात करेंगे वो मेरा मिसकंसेप्शन नहीं होना चाहिए फेस इतना भोला भाला ऐसे तुम गलत काम कर रहे हो क्या ना लुक इन दिस वी टॉक अबाउट द सेक्शन ऑफ द कॉकलिया व्हाट इज इट वी टॉक अबाउट द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द कॉकलिया तो क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द कॉकलिया जब देखेंगे वट आर द chambers how many chambers we get to see three chambers in the cochlea so i am talking about the cochlear cartilage cross section and we get three chambers what are the chambers their names now let us see here what are the three chambers and what are their names take a note of this type of figure that i am showing you there what are the name of the chambers you also keep marking there what's the upper chamber known as vestibular chamber vestibular what is the second chamber 
median median chamber and what is the third chamber tympanal watch the underline karte ja so what is the upper chamber vestibular median tympanal vestibular is the upper chamber name the upper chamber of the cochlea vestibular name the middle chamber central chamber median median and tympanal so these are the three chambers now i already told you that these chambers are filled with a fluid which are the fluid this particular chamber is filled with see here this particular chamber is filled with a fluid perilymph this is filled with a fluid endolymph and this is again filled with a fluid perilymph so now i talk about the cochlea so what are the three chambers i told you the first chamber is vestibular what is vestibular filled with a fluid known as perilymph take a note of this you are asked the second chamber is known as median median what is it filled with endolymph what is this take the now this fluid that we are talking about is quite similar to the cerebrospinal fluid remember and now we are talking about the tympanal we are talking about the tympanal chamber this is also filled with the perilymph now this three chambers of the cochlea filled with the fluid but something more we get to see in the median chamber what are these these are the sensory cells where are the sensory cells present the sensory cells are at the floor at the base of the median chamber can you see in your figure also there at the base at the floor of the median chamber there are a whole lot of sensory cells so now what is the job of the sensory cells at the base of the median canal at the floor of the median canal i go back to the previous figure again i said that uh, what what is the job of the middle ear what is the function of the middle ear overall the middle ear whichever part we talk about ossicles hai oval window hai round window hai overall they are helping in amplification of the sound waves so abhi now the sound waves have come in contact with the, the sound waves have disturbed the cochlea the sound waves have disturbed the cochlea the fluid inside the cochlea is set into motion the fluid inside the cochlea is disturbed now this fluid now inside the cochlea that is disturbed this messages <coughs> the fluid in the cochlea that is disturbed these messages are picked up by special sensory cells which are present here so yahan pe bhi fluid hai which is disturbed now ye bhi fluid hai jo disturbed now the cochlea repeatedly i say fluid of the cochlea now are disturbed because of the vibrations moving so ye jo vibrations abhi from the stapes and the oval window and the round window aaya hai these vibrations are now disturbing the fluid so now that the vibrations are disturbing the fluid this is received as information by this sensory neurons and this group of sensory neurons which are at the base of the median chamber or the median canal this group of sensory neurons are known as the organ of cochlea take a note this is known as the organ of cochlea what is it the organ of cochlea what is organ of cochlea organ of cochlea are a group of sensory neurons they are a group of sensory neurons then what is the job of the sensory neurons messages impulse ha huh. now the receptor is the ear and it will take the messages way to the brain so that is what it is doing now so now that the ear uh, fluid is disturbed what will happen this entire fluid is disturbed here also there is a fluid what is the name of this fluid here endolymph so this fluid is also disturbed now that the fluid is disturbed this messages how whatever the sound uh, intensity the vibration is according and now that is what is received as messages impulses by the dendrites of the sensory neuron and all these neurons are actually sending their axons in the form of a bundle so here are the cytons and the axons are coming out here exactly are the cytons and this group of cyton is actually what we are talking about as organ of cochlea so what is organ of cochlea a group of sensory cells at the base of median canal basilar membrane is it is that word written basilar membrane basilar membrane is the floor of the median canal 
basilar membrane if it is there then of course take a note so if i talk about the basilar membrane what is the basilar membrane the basilar membrane is actually the floor the membrane and the floor of the median canal that is known as the basilar membrane now this organ of cotta they are receiving messages and now the axons of all these neurons the axons of all these neurons are bundling up and they are coming out so if i see something here again the axons of all these bundling up and coming out what is this bundle of axons known as auditory nerve this entire bundle of the axons coming out from the cochlear region is actually a part of the auditory nerve but why i say a part of the auditory nerve because auditory nerves ke liye aur jo axons chahiye this will come from this part so inner ear ke this is one major part other parts are still left this is another part that we are talking about so what is the other part of the inner ear this rings of semicircular this rings of cartilaginous structure this cartilaginous rings three each one of them are at right angles to each other that's their property please remember so what are these rings called semicircular canals what are these rings called semicircular canals what are, what are they made up of cartilage they are cartilaginous rings are they hollow inside no they are also filled with a small amount of fluid but every single ring has a swollen base can you see that swollen base and what is the swollen base of the ring known as the swollen ring is known as the ampulla the swollen ring is known as the ampulla <clears throat> so here we have got the semicircular canal but this part is still left this part is actually a sheath of nervous tissues this part is a sheath of nervous tissues connecting the cochlea and the semicircular canals what is this sheath of nervous tissues known as so i said one is cochlea semicircular canals and what is the third part utriculus utriculus and saculus so this together when i am talking about this part this is what is known as the vestibule or the vestibular region take a note cochlea semicircular canals and now we talk about the third part utriculus and saculus which one is utriculus and saculus this reach what is it a sheet of nervous tissue connecting the cochlea and the semicircular canals so ye part ki function to humne dekh liya what is it what is the function of this part cochlea what is the job of the cochlea helps in hearing because the fluid will move which which chamber ka a fluid is the most important to help us in hearing the fluid of the median canal because when the fluid of the median canal is disturbed when the fluid of the median canal is disturbed the impulses are received by the sensory neurons and transmitted with the help of the axons so which are these axons i show you in this figure again so i showed you here that these axons are actually this coming out but still some more axons coming out from this what type of information are they carrying now this information that these axons are carrying information from the semicircular canal but what type of information does a semicircular canal give to the brain this semicircular canal which also have got some fluid and these vibrations are they moving this side only no these vibrations are moving this way also the vibrations from the stems are they moving in only one direction or will be scattered this way this way this way this way so ye jo vibrations is taraf move ho raha hai they are moving this fluid and here also some impulses are generated but these impulses from here and the impulses from here that are carried these are also nerves remember i am repeatedly telling you these are all nerves which are receiving the impulses of vibration receiving impulses from vibration receiving impulses from vibration so what type of impulses impulses relating to body balance so you just semicircular canals here they really help us help us in uh, dynamic body balance and this utriculus and saculus help us in static body balance and this part helps us in hearing so ye jo fluid move hona zaruri isliye hai so that we can hear everything sharp ye this particular region is transmitting sound waves yahan se directly by the way of axons 
यहां से मैसेजेस आर गोइंग डायरेक्टली बाय द वे ऑफ एंजॉन्स एंड दीज टू पार्ट्स सेमी सर्कुलर कैनाल्स एंड सर्कुलर सेमी सर्कुलर आर गिविंग मैसेजेस रिगार्डिंग द बॉडी बैलेंस तो ये सारे एंजॉन्स नाउ दे यूनाइट रिजल्टिंग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ऑडिटरी नर्व ampulla or semicircular canal in your exam if you can write ampulla of semicircular canal that is a complete answer ampulla of semicircular canal even if you don't remember the word ampulla that was said but try to remember ampulla is a more specific word to understand so now we are talking about the auditory nerve carrying messages to the cerebrum and same like the ear some interpretation will be done in the cerebrum and then the commands coming back to our target organ So here you have to remember all the parts of the ear and their respective functions. Is it clear? Auditory nerve, I said. So auditory nerve is actually formed by the axons coming out from the cochlea, saccular, utricular, and semicircular canal. Three sets of axons would come: saccular, utricular, and cochlea. Three sets of axons. messages for hearing messages are impulses for uh, static body balance messages for dynamic body balance all these unite to form auditory nerve carry now impulses to the cerebrum i'm sorry uh, the cerebrum here yeah. and cerebrum also for hearing the cerebrum will uh, regulate functions for hearing so this is about the ear there are some questions relating to this in your book both of these questions we could not have time for solving questions the next class probably i will start with the next chapter and we will try to see some few questions by the time you keep solving the questions in the book if you have a doubt you can ask sir नहीं नहीं हमने सारा 